Hey babe, I was wondering if you wanted to watch this stuff. Give it to me. Please, please give it to me. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. A lot's going through my head, but I'm more worried about what's going through yours. So please, let me talk to you and hear me out. Please, baby, <laughs> please give it to me. Thank you. Uh, yeah. um, I don't. Do you? Do you want to talk about anything? Anything going on? Anything? It's, it's okay. I'm just moving closer to you, babe. It's okay. Here. I'm gonna put this here. I see your arm. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to yell. When do I ever yell? I understand that you're afraid. Hey, look at me. Look at my eyes. It's me, baby. It's me. I'm not going to hurt you. Just gonna wrap your arm up and let me know if it's too tight, please. Don't, don't worry about the tears coming out my eyes, please. Please, it's not about me. It's not. <laughs> Here, come take a seat on the bed. I just want to talk. <laughs> I love you very much. I adore you. I you mean everything to me, so please do not go. All I ask, and I'm respectful of you, to say, if you don't want to tell me anything, I, I get it, I understand. But I want to know where you're at, just so I know how to help how to care for you and I promise you this isn't going to be something where something bad happens I'm here to protect you I'm here to love you and walking in on you 
my baby, my everything, my literal everything just hurt to the point where the only pain or feeling she could feel is caused by herself on herself. It hurts. But what hurts more is what you're going through. And I just want to know. Just so I understand. So I can help. I'm sorry, baby. And the floor is yours. Please. What's going on? I'm here to listen. I'm all ears. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. You know, can I be real with you? Like I usually am, but just this once I want to say something. It's amazing. How a person can can provide so much care, so much effort, so much peace and harmony to the world, and though may be mistaken, though not perfect, no one is. They could either go life, go through life as a jolly old person, overconfident, ego rising. The world is mine and I own it and I'm going to own this world. Or there are people who are genuine good people. People who are on that same path with a different mindset. People who care, people who are generous, people who are kind, people who are lonely, people who just need to feel loved. And even when they receive that thing that they think they desperately need, that thing that will make all their problems go away, they still feel empty. I love you, baby. You mean the absolute world to me. I can give you all the love in the world. I can give you all the kisses, all the cuddles, everything. And I'm going to. I'm going to continue to comfort you, especially now. But the scariest thing about this is that I have no control over whatever your mind explains to you whatever your mind tells you whatever your anxiety your fear your depression no matter what the words i say feel like nothing and for me that that hurts
hurts so much. And that's not even on you. That's just because of how painful depression is and how ignorant it can be. So again, I do not blame you. I am not mad at you. I'm not even disappointed. I am simply scared and afraid. And... <laughs> terrified. Because... <laughs> you call my depression... You call my thoughts, you call my feelings, and no, this isn't about me, but I'm trying to give a perspective just so you can see where I'm coming from. Anytime I feel low, anytime I feel sad, anytime where I just think enough is enough, and then I feel nothing. But in order to feel something, you need to feel. You make me feel. The comments you make, the words you, the words you say, your compliments, your love, your support, just you are amazing. You make me feel. And without you, I feel nothing. No, I don't mean that in a needy, clingy way as if no one else can have you and you can't leave. But I mean that in a way of, I understand. I understand. I don't know exactly what you're going through. I don't know. The exact things you're thinking. The exact pains you're feeling. But I understand. It's not a joke. It's not. It's terrifying. It's genuinely terrifying. Even right now, I'm terrified of what I'm even saying because I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. I'm second guessing everything I'm saying, but I'm just throwing it out there because that's how I feel. And that scares me because I don't know what I truly feel in this besides just pain and sadness that my baby is hurt. so much please don't go I'm glad you exist and please if you ever need help or just something to talk to even if you're afraid of what I'll say or how you think it'll go trust me Knowing you're okay is more important to me than anything small and stupid that a situation hurting you could be. Or anything large and grand and hurtful. If you're in pain, I just want to know you're okay. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for being my precious baby.